all right dear children uh, welcome back to the class as i have promised uh, uh, i mean uh, we are going to discuss about uh, all the question papers right uh, from uh, samuel school we have conducted this uh, fa2 test also i will be giving this uh, physics uh, solved paper all right so we will be having doubts also uh, so all those uh, questions whatever you have doubts so everything will be solved in this video all right so you must be having the question paper also still i will write those questions uh, the question number 1 is like this write the unit of write the unit of resistivity all right so this is a quite a simple question theoretical question all right so you know about this no unit of resistivity is unit of resistivity is what is this tell me ohm meter all right you know about this no r is equal to rho l by a and rho is equal to it becomes r a by l no so you know all these theoretical things right uh, uh, not r this is uh, rho is equal to r a by l r means resistance ohm and area is meter square divided by length is meter meter and meter they get cancel and uh, the unit is ohm meter that's what i have written here all right so this was a uh, quite a simple question so uh, all the extra data also i'll be giving here whatever necessary uh, data is there i'll be giving that also and uh, moving on to the second question let us have a look at this uh, second question what is this uh, 100 joule of work 100 joule of work is done is done to move to move a charge of to move a charge of 10 coulomb from point a to point b all right find the find the potential difference find the potential difference between difference between points a and b all right let us analyze this question i mean there is one point a and there is another point b now 100 joule of work is done to move a charge of 10 coulomb i mean here there is a charge of 10 coulomb q is equal to 10 coulomb i mean we have to carry this charge from this point to this point from point a to point b and in that process uh, we have to do some work so that work done is like 100 joule and they are asking what is the potential difference between this point a and point b all right so you know this uh, fundamentals right so this is at a low potential and this is at high potential no so let this potential be va and this potential be vb so potential difference means uh, uh, high potential minus low potential i mean potential of one point minus potential of another point then it is going to be work done from a to b divided by charge taken all right so what is the work done 100 joule and how much is the charge 10 coulomb so 0 0 get cancel and it is going to be 10 volt all right so therefore potential difference between a point a e and point b it is going to be 10 volt right so this was also a quite simple question there was a little bit calculation and it was conceptual let us move on to the third question name the factors name the factors on which on which resistivity on which resistivity of a conductor resistivity of a conductor depends on all right so what is this i mean resistivity they are saying right so resistivity depends on what it depends on nature of material only so that's why what is the answer resistivity depends on depends on nature of material only all right nature of material only you know this no resistivity i mean resistance is there no this depends upon length and this is inversely proportional to area and all then afterwards we'll get one proportionality constant rho and it becomes r equal to rho l by a this is there all right but this resistivity this resistance is dependent on length and area but this resistivity it uh, do not depend on any other factor other than nature of material so that's why the answer should be nature of material so whatever this rho is there so it depends on only nature of material all right so but this resistance is there no so we have got something called resistance that resistance depends on length that resistance depends on area and depends on nature of material also so that is like rho so it depends on three factors but this rho it depends on nature of material only 
all right so this was the third question and here is the fourth question a bulb of power a bulb of power 40 watt is connected is connected to a voltage source to a voltage source of 100 volt all right find the find the current drawn by the bulb current drawn by the bulb all right so uh, here is the bulb we have got a bulb here all right so and this is connected to some voltage source all right so what is this voltage source this is like 100 volt that is like voltage is 100 volt and power of this bulb is like 40 watt all right it will be drawing some current that current only they are asking so power is equal to what is the formula vi right so power is like 40 watt and v is 100 volt and i we don't know so that's what we are calculating i is equal to it becomes 40 divided by 100 then it becomes i is equal to 0 0 got cancelled 4 divided by 10 means it is going to be 0.4 ampere all right so this is going to draw a current of 0.4 ampere that was also quite simple now the fifth question is here a refrigerator a refrigerator rated at rated at 2500 watt is used for is used for 10 hours in a day 10 hours in a day if the refrigerator if the refrigerator is used for is used for 30 days 30 days find the electricity bill find the electricity bill to be paid all right and they have given uh, one data here what is that uh, cost of electricity is cost of electricity is two rupees per kilowatt hour okay per kilowatt hour uh, uh, you say so we have to pay two rupees all right so you know about this i mean power rating of the refrigerator is like 2500 watt and this must be converted into kilowatt why because this uh, rate is given in kilowatt no so the usage uh, cost and all they have given it in kilowatt hour so that's why mm, it is going to be 2.5 kilowatt all right now it is used for 10 hours in a day all right so time is like uh, 10 hours per day all right for how many days it is being used for 30 days so that is like uh, into 30 days correct no so this day and day it get cancelled and total time how much will be the total time is like 300 hours correct no 10 into 30 is uh, i mean uh, 300 so time is going to be 300 hours correct so now tell me what is the uh, energy consumed so electrical energy consumed direct formula is there so that is like uh, p into t right so what is the value of p so p is like a uh, 2.5 and into t is 300 hours correct so it becomes a uh, 25 3 is a 75 and a double zero and one point comes uh, back now so that is like a 750 kilowatt hour so this is electrical energy consumed now cost of electricity is uh, 10 uh, i think it is 2 rupees no 2 rupees per kilowatt hour means the bill to be paid bill to be paid is equal to 750 into 2 correct no all right so how it is actually uh, the rate is like 2 rupees 2 rupees per kilowatt hour no per kilowatt hour 2 rupees into totally how many kilowatt hours uh, 750 kilowatt hours kilowatt hour kilowatt hour it get cancelled and uh, uh, two zeros are zero two fives are ten one is a carry two sevens are fourteen fifteen so fifteen hundred rupees so bill to be paid is like bill to be paid is equal to fifteen hundred rupees all right i hope everybody got it okay then uh, please uh, have a look into this uh, the energy formula is like pt we have to use that and then we have to calculate all right so moving forward to sixth question a conductor a conductor has a length of a conductor has a length of 10 centimeter and its 
cross sectional area and its cross sectional area is 2 mm square all right if it is connected if it is connected to a battery of to a battery of 10 volt find heat produced find heat produced in the conductor in 10 seconds now they are asking about heat produced okay and the given data is like a resistivity of material rho of material is equal to 2 into 10 to the power minus 5 ohm meter all right uh, let us try to understand this now this conductor is there no how much length is there it is having a length of 10 cm so length is like 10 cm and 10 cm means 10 into 10 to the power minus 2 meter and it becomes 10 to the power minus 1 meter all right so this is the length and cross section area is also given what is the area area is a uh, 2 mm square you can have a look at this i hope everybody has written the question 2 mm square 2 mm square means 2 into 10 to the power minus 6 m square no so that area is also given and it is connected to a battery of 10 volt so that means voltage is like 10 volt okay so now what they are asking find the heat produced in the conductor in 10 seconds all right so to find out this heat and all we have to get the value of resistance no yes or no i mean if you find out the uh, formula if you see the formula of heat that is like i square rt or it can be vit or it can be i mean v square by r into t so three formula are there for this heat produced so uh, in uh, two of them uh, what is there r is there and at least uh, i should be there i should know the value of i to find i also i need the value of r so that's why fundamentally here we have to find the value of r whatever resistance is there no so that value we have to calculate because length is given area is given and rho value is also given no so rho value also you can write so what is that rho value look at this here it is so rho is equal to 2 into 10 to the power minus 5 ohm meter all right so by using all these things you can find the resistance resistance is equal to formula is rho l by a and uh, what is the value of rho it is 2 into 10 to the power minus 5 into l look at this l so l is uh, 10 to the power minus 1 divided by area so what is this area mm, here it is so area is uh, 2 into 10 to the power minus 6 2 into 10 to the power minus 6 all right 2 and 2 they get cancelled and uh, here 10 to the power minus 5 minus 1 means 10 to the power minus 6 into this 10 to the power minus 6 become 10 to the power plus 6 then it becomes 10 to the power minus 6 plus 6 all uh, loss of exponents 10 to the power 0 means uh, it is going to be um, i mean 1 right so otherwise you would have cancelled it here only okay so however you do it uh, the answer comes same so resistance is 1 otherwise uh, instead of uh, bringing it up and all usually we have that practice no how can you do you can do it as 10 to the power minus 6 divided by 10 to the power minus 6 no they get cancelled and resistance is 1 ohm so both are okay so resistance is 1 ohm that means whatever that conductor is there that conductor is having how much resistance that is having resistance of 1 ohm and that is connected to a battery all right so what is the voltage of that battery that is like 10 volt correct and the circuit is on for how many seconds t is like 10 seconds for 10 seconds the circuit is on i think find the heat produced in the conductor in 10 seconds all right so now to get that uh, value of uh, i mean how much uh, heat is produced in 10 seconds heat produced equal to what is the formula i square rt if you want to use you can use otherwise you can use a v square divided by r into t also that is also correct correct no because this 10 volt whatever it is available the same will be available here also no 10 volt just look at this only one resistor is there that's why you are going to get the same voltage here all right there are no two resistors only one resistor is there so that's why whatever voltage you have here 10 volt the same will appear across this uh, resistor so that's why you can uh, use this formula v square by r into t you can definitely do that what is the value of uh, v 10 definitely 10 square then divided by r r means how much it is there 1 ohm we have calculated that 1 into t how many uh, seconds it is 10 seconds correct so then afterwards what it becomes it becomes 100 into 10 100 into 10 is 1000 so
all right so the heat produced is 1000 joule or you can just call it as 1 kilo joule 1 kilo joule means 1000 joule only all right dear children i hope uh, everybody got to know about this problem how to do okay it's uh, quite a simple problem uh, don't think that every time i square rt we have to use uh, again you have to find i you know i is equal to v by r same answer you are going to get if you calculate by using i square rt also just if you want to try you can try here i mean as an alternative if you are not comfortable with this just to look at this i means again what is the formula v by r no I mean V by R into whole square and all that you are going to do. Otherwise, if you want to find out the current here, so you can do find out the current. No, current is equal to what is the formula V by R. What is the value of V? 10 volt. 10 divided by what is the value of uh, resistance? Resistance we already calculated that is 1. So, I mean 10 by 1 means 10 ampere only. So, I am going to get 10 ampere only. So, you can find it as 10 square into resistance is 1 ohm. And again time is 10 seconds. So, 10 square means 100 into 1 into 10. So, it becomes 1000 joule only. So, that also becomes 1 kilo joule. All right. But here, uh, you have calculated this uh, current also. no. So, instead of that, uh, you can use this formula if you want. It's your choice, dear children, how you want to do it. But my task is to, I mean, uh, give you all the possible ways, okay, the state way as well as normal way. All right. Uh, so then uh, moving forward, seventh question, let us have a look at this seventh question. What is, what is Joule's law of heating? What is Joule's law of heating? This is the first question. And in that, uh, they have mentioned one more. So that is like uh, explain the working of explain the working of electric fuse already so many videos have been made to explain this but still as the question paper is being discussed I will be mentioning all the things also write the also write the characteristics also write the characteristics of fuse wire all right so uh, three questions are there all have to be addressed to get full marks all right so uh, let us try to answer this uh, what is joule's law of heating i mean uh, you can just put a heading joule's law of heating this is very specific no joule's law of heating you can just put the heading ideal answers i'm telling you once you have seen this question entire question for example whatever this question is there no if you see this question entire question how you are supposed to solve so that's the main motto of making all these videos right all right so joule's law of heating so after writing joule's law of heating you have to draw one resistor all right that resistor is like r and in that current i is uh, flowing and definitely it must be some uh, from some voltage source yes and i am going to pass the current for time t so what i will write mm, if current i if current i is flown flown in any electric device in any electric device of resistance R any electric device of resistance R for time T for time T then it gets then it gets heated then it gets heated all right heat produced heat heat means H heat produced is heat produced is all right the first thing is directly proportional to directly proportional to directly proportional to square of current square of current all right definitely it is passing through the device that's why it is directly proportional to square of the current and second one is directly proportional to directly proportional to proportional to resistance of conductor resistance of device or electric device all right so that is like directly proportional to resistance and third one okay directly proportional to directly proportional to proportional to time period time period for which for which current is passed current is passed or current has flown so whichever way you can write so h is directly proportional to time all right so combining all these three i mean from one two and three so we are going to have this as h is proportional to 
i square rt all right to remove this uh, proportionality sign we are going to keep one uh, constant here that is k k into i square rt and in si system in uh, si system what is the value of this k k is equal to 1 i have made separate video about this in important questions on electricity i have explained why this value of k is equal to 1 and all you can watch it there so we are going to have h is equal to i square rt so this is the uh, joule's law of heating all right now one more question explain the working of electric fuse no so again you are going to put the heading this is five mark question actually but i have given it for less marks because this is a very simple exam no test and all so that's why for uh, small marks only for uh, one or two marks i have given this two marks i have given this but this will be asked for five mark or four mark in the exam so working of electric fuse so how does it work so the first point what you are going to write here is every circuit every circuit has rated power all right rated power for example uh, we are going to take power is equal to um, let us take it as uh, for example 1 kilowatt all right so 1 kilowatt or otherwise you can take it as 2 kilowatt also that is your choice 2 kilowatt and that is equal to 2000 watt all right then uh, i mean then every circuit works on some voltage okay uh, let the let the voltage rating let the voltage rating of the circuit okay let the voltage rating of the circuit is 220 volt okay this is fixed in india we know about this but you can take this as different also there is no need that you have to take 220 volt also 220 volt only you can take it as 200 volt also all right different devices will be working on different voltages but generally we have in the main circuit 220 volt that's why we usually take it as 220 volt but for the example you can take any other value also for example let the voltage rating of the circuit is 200 volt all right so then uh, what we have we have one formula right so what is that p is equal to vi so just now we wrote the value of p that is 2000 into v value we don't know i mean uh, it is given no it is 200 volt here so 200 into i then definitely this 0 0 0 0 they get cancelled to ones are two tens are so that is like i is equal to 10 ampere that means uh, this is a rated current all right so rated current of the circuit is rated current of the circuit rated current of the circuit is equal to 10 ampere that means we should use we should use we should use we should use a fuse of fuse of 10 ampere rating right so uh, i mean the circuit is uh, going to work fine for 10 ampere if more than 10 ampere comes means the circuit will get uh, destroyed so that's why this fuse comes in so that's why we are going to write uh, fuse works fuse works properly fuse works proper i mean properly as in melting itself is its work no uh, so what we are going to write uh, when current is when current is up to 10 ampere the fuse wire the fuse wire is intact fuse wire is intact if current if current more than if current more than 10 ampere flows 10 ampere flows then then fuse wire fuse wire gets heated gets heated and melts and melts to disconnect to disconnect the circuit disconnect the circuit from the main supply from the main supply so this is how it acts as electric safety device this way this way fuse works as fuse works as safety device electric safety device all right it works as electric safety device all right uh, so this was regarding working of the fuse now they are asking us to write the characteristics characteristics of fuse wire okay so you must be knowing characteristics of fuse wire so that is like it should have high resistance all right because uh, immediately it should get heated no because the uh, heating formula is uh, i square into rt right so that's why uh, more resistance means more heated uh, it will be all right so it should have low melting point 
all right so low melting point uh, with less heat also it will get melted means uh, um, immediately the circuit will be disconnected and the circuit will be safe all right uh, i hope everybody uh, got to know about this characteristics also all right dear children so this was your uh, physics question paper like this i uh, will be solving uh, all your uh, question papers whichever the test we conduct uh, all the question papers whatever are there we must have solved it and you must be having some doubts also and how to represent the answers and all so all that uh, uh, task will be done from the uh, kalparuksha classes uh, youtube channel so through this channel you'll be getting to know about question paper of uh, different schools also we'll be solving them and we'll be uploading them so if you found it uh, useful like the video and uh, share the good work with other people and uh, comment on the video what you want to listen to us and uh, definitely without uh, without fail subscribe to the channel so that uh, all these videos all this good work reaches maximum number of students thank you very much uh, have a good day and bye bye